How to see Archons part two. Well, Archons are not eight meter tall interdimensional entities. None of that means jack shit to you. Even if they are that, and I'm not saying they're not. <laughs> it's a figure of speech. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter where they come from, interdimensional this, blah, 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 that, what they look like, none of that matters to you. What matters to you is, in your human body, and the human society you're embedded in, who is the Archon there? Who is the organic portal human body displaying Archonic energy is what matters to you, yeah? It doesn't matter, oh, they're eight foot tall, Ben, these Archons, this is what they look like, and they're like this. None of that matters. What the fuck does that do for your life? Oh, it's an eight meter Archon from Dimension 6050. <laughs> what are you going to do with that information? You're not going to do much with it. Yeah, you might bring a new model of reality and that would be awesome, but it's most likely not many of you are going to do that. I don't know how many of us are going to do that with that little bit of information. So what really is pertinent to your life is to see who are the Archons in the Matrix, yeah? Um, so these are always the people who are in control. Um, it looks to me like the Archons are just the most humanoided, the most close to what we call human, which has mammalian reference as well, by the way. Um, they're the most humanoid reptilian, basically. But they're not like reptiles. Reptiles will like come attack you individually. Archons are like empiric. You know, they like to build empires. They'll go to war. Yeah, they'll um they'll fight Aldebron energy. And let's not get esoteric. The point is that archons are like more like that, more aristocrat, more uh, astute. Uh, a reptile who attacks you in the night. You know, cloaked reptile will jump, jump on the walls in your room, put you in sleep paralysis and um, shoot up your chakra system and all this sort of, sort of stuff, put you in sleep paralysis. That's because it's just one, well, maybe, I, I can't remember if I've heard any stories of more than one reptile attacking people. Uh, I think three was mentioned in someone's story once. Anyway, from my own experiences, it's only ever been one at a time. The point is that's the idea of the foot soldier more than the aristocrat yeah the aristocrat sort of sits there and and commands an empire and commands a fleet or something this is archonic energy okay they're always the boss they roll bigger yeah they don't roll so small and um uh i'm at a loss for vocabulary but they don't roll so um like a reptile that's so sneaky, so so small-minded and so on, all right? An individual. That's more reptilian energy and then you know how people say greys, grey aliens are like foot soldiers. The opposite to that is like the, the non-foot soldier, yeah? The commander or what I'm trying to say is the aristocrat even. They're more political like that, okay? So they're always in controlling positions in society. That's what matters. It's how they act out of fear. Um, it's got to do with control. So if you're prodding control, people want to control you and stuff, that will be Archonic energy, okay? This is the way to start looking at Archons, not, oh, it's an eight-meter-tall interdimensional alien. That's not going to do anyone any good.